It's one of the world's top mountain biking festivals. Over the past 15 years, Crankworx has hosted some of the best bikers in the business, competing at the highest level across a variety of daring disciplines. And from March 19th, the event festival descends on the trails of Rotorua for the fifth time, bringing with it a host of economic benefits. Dave Donaldson is Rotorua's deputy mayor. He's also on the Crankworx board. We have seen progression uh, every year, both in the number of events and uh, the economic return and the, um, the media uh, views of it. Over the four years that we've staged this event, uh, we have had the economic benefit assessed at 18.4 million. Across behind me here in the forest on the other side of the city, there are approximately 160 kilometres of mountain bike trails and here at Skyline uh, there's a gondola uh, accessed mountain bike park. There are economic benefits to the city from mountain bike tourism. Those benefits have been assessed just in Whakarewarewa Forest alone at between 30 and 50 million dollars per annum. The annual surge in visitors and tourists has a big impact on local businesses. All of that uh, food and beverage, uh, accommodation, uh, right down to supermarkets and petrol stations, all benefit. It provides jobs, it's the legacy effect of these major events that keeps people coming back to Rotorua. But the impact is felt much wider too. Australia is our number one international destination, followed by North America, and they will go to other uh, notable riding centres in New Zealand, uh, either before or after they've, they've been here at Crankworks. So places like uh, Queenstown, Nelson, Christchurch, Wellington, uh, we'll all see an uplift in international visitation uh, around Crankworks. Bryce Shapley, owner of local mountain biking store Cycle Zone, has seen the sport go from little more than a hobby to a global phenomenon. We've been here around 30 years, so I'm fortunate enough that my father actually started the bike division uh, of another store. Uh, more than 30 years ago, so really long history servicing all the riders here in Rotorua for a, for a very long time. It adds a whole new dynamic, a different style of riding, a different style of spectator. Uh, groups of riders come here from all over the world. It's a massive international event. Cycle Zone sees an increase in business before and after the event, but the week of Crankworks itself is actually quite quiet. For us here in the store, we get a lot of additional foot traffic, but the actual uh, business side of it is, is not uh, anything significant uh, over what we would normally have. But it does add a long tail and a, and a, and a pretense to, to all the riders being here. So we get a lot of riders come to town before the event, a lot of riders after the event, uh, and obviously during. Uh, but the focus is crankworks itself uh, whilst it's on. Uh, so we tend to notice uh, before and after is, is probably the benefit for us rather than the actual during of the event itself. Rotorua is now considered an international hub for mountain biking, the result of years of hard work from a number of local organisations. Firstly, with the land ownership model that's here, the, the iwi, the, the trail owners, uh, sorry, the uh, forest owners, the forest managers, the, the amazing cooperation we have from all those, um, those groups that are, have a vested interest in it. Uh, so access really is probably the, the key driver there. Um, the access both that we're allowed to use the land, we're privileged enough to have that. Uh, access that people have volunteered their time in the past to, to build that trail network, predominantly for themselves and other riders around them. So that local community has grown into what is now an international community of riders. As for the future of Crankworks in Rotorua, that ultimately sits with its funders, the board and one very passionate deputy mayor. I guess the reason I'm appointed as the chairman is I've been mountain biking in Rotorua since uh, the early 1990s. Um, competed, been a, a club president for about seven years of the mountain bike club and been part, uh, just part of the uh, growth in mountain biking culture in Rotorua and I love it, it's a lot of fun. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.